Mamma mia. That's so good. For the time being, everything looks pretty good and I'm at the spot where I can add radiator fluid and fire it up and see if there's any leaks. I don't think there will be, but you never know. So far, so good. I'm running okay for the time being. Let's turn the heater on. That way we can cycle that heater core. Should be getting pretty close to operating temperature now and we'll also get to see if the fan's gonna kick on now it's a little bit more warmed up and we're on day two nothing leaked yesterday but the fan didn't kick on the temperatures are hitting about 210 there and it should have kicked on way sooner so i'm double checking all my wiring in here i'm gonna dig in and break out the multimeter Okie dokie, I think I got it fixed now, so let's start it up again. I got the wiring fixed and I have the temperature sensor in my hand, so I'm ready to fire up the car and see if the fan works this time. The initial temperature is about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Nope, use is still intact. Here's how the front looks now. See, there's that galvanized steel plate and the half radiator with the little opening on the side. Of course, this guy's gonna pop right in there. The fan kicked on, it works. The fan kicked on, it works. Success, success, the fan works. That's awesome, now let's see if it'll bring down the temperatures and come off on its own. And the fan has turned off, that is awesome. That means the controller's working, sweet. So of course you know what that means. We gotta take it out, take it out for a drive. The drive after went really well, but guess what broke? It wasn't the cooling system. It was something kind of unexpected. The thing that's broken is the front wheel hub bearing. I don't know if you remember in my last track day video, it was giving me some trouble. Well, now it's totally broken. It's making some nasty, nasty noises. Let's see, listen to this clunking. 
The driver's side is, is wrecked. The passenger side wheel hub is still okay. I also went and checked the rear wheel hubs and I found that the driver's side rear one also has some wiggle and some play to it. It's on its way out as well. Just when you think you're getting ahead, something else breaks. But that's the story of owning an old car. Not to worry, I already have new parts ordered. There's gonna be some extra spice along with it as well. The Corolla is not gonna get ignored this year. It's gonna get the love and affection it deserves, and it's gonna come out fantastic. So I wanna thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.